Shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. Today is Tuesday, is the 8th of January. It is feeding time at the zoo. So Lex is away in Ireland at SBG training with Owen Roddy and today I'm on my own. I'm gonna take you through my day because it's the new year, it's 2019. We've all made resolutions and we've probably all failed a little bit already on our resolutions. I know I did it at the weekend, but I'm getting back to it because, you know, it's a new week, fresh start. We're one week in and we can do this. We can get through 2019. With our new year's resolutions i have to get a battery because it's flashing on my camera fresh battery and today i set my alarm to get up at 7 a.m and then i pressed snooze and i got up about 8 30. so i missed pilates because pilates was at 9 30 and it's now 10. so i'm simply going to go not beat myself up about missing my pilates class because i got some extra rest and that's also important but i'm going to go to the gym then I'm getting a pedicure and we've walked the dogs and I've got a call at 2 p.m. and you can see they're on their New Year diet. They really do miss Lex when he's away but yeah. as you can see I feed them separate so that they don't steal from each other's bowls. I have had kind of a rocky end 2018 and um, there was ups, there was downs, and you all know what happened. So now I'm trying to get to grips with a different plan than what I thought was going to happen in 2019. But things change. The boat sometimes is rocked, but that doesn't mean that we all have to abandon ship. A few things have changed with my training and diet. I set myself the goal I am going away with Green and Pink in March to Portugal to shoot their spring summer collection and um, have a bit of a girly holiday. So it's eight weeks away and I wanted to drop a little bit of weight. It's not like I need to drop super amounts of weight, I'm not overweight anyway, but I just want to tighten in, you know, like that little bit of mm, in the skin. So I want to tighten in. So I've changed a few things. I've started introducing some cardio um, in during the week. Now I am calculating this uh, based on calories burned. So I just have a set amount of calories I would like to burn during the week. I also am trying to get loads of steps in via walking the dogs and obviously my cardio as well. Um, I am now doing Pilates and yoga during the week. I have joined the rural space in Shrewsbury. If you are from the Shropshire, Shrewsbury area, it is like a really nice space where you can do yoga, Pilates, and a number of other classes. And there's loads of things on offer. And it's just a really nice place. Lex has actually been coming to yoga with me as well. Um, just to try and work on our flexibility and that kind of thing. So training wise, I've introduced the yoga and Pilates and also um, Lex for a very long time has been doing high frequency training. So high frequency training is where you train three to four body parts per session, but you only do two exercises. So it just means you are going to be training more frequently because you will get through the body parts more frequently throughout the week. So today I think I'm going to do some back, I think I'm going to do some triceps and I think I'm going to do some quad work. So that is going to be my training for today. I'm training about four to five days per week, what I can fit in. If I don't get that in, that's fine. We just roll it on to the next week because with the high frequency training, you literally go in and think, what did I not train last time? And then you train that. With my food, I have not been tracking my food for probably about three or four months. I probably have not been taking in enough protein. I probably have been taking in a lot more fat, maybe not enough carbs. I just, I've been all over the place, but I know I've been taking in more calories. For almost about a year, Lex has been eating a higher fat diet. He is not following a keto diet because he is still taking in carbs and enough carbs that he will not go into a ketosis. So I have decided to try and mix up my calories as well and mix up my macros and take in higher fat and then a lower amount of carbs. I wasn't previously able to do this because my macros were so low that for me to take in 
higher fat, I would have had to go onto a keto diet because my carbs would have had to drop down a lot because of where I was at with my metabolism and my dieting. But literally, all you do is you change up your percentages. So now I'm on a higher fat, not like super high. I'm taking in about 60 grams of fat. Normally when I start dieting, I start at about 40, 45 grams of fat. So it is about 15, 20 grams higher than I normally would start at. And then my carbs are a little bit lower than where I would normally be. I've literally subtracted calories from carbs and put them into my fats. So it's not that I'm doing anything different with my calorie intake, I'm simply just adjusting it. And to be honest, I'm quite enjoying it right now, but we will have to see as my diet usually progresses, I drop down my carbs. But right now to drop down my carbs, would be okay, but later down the line, if I was to continue dieting, it might be a little bit more difficult. But saying that, maybe on a higher fat diet, I may not have to drop down my calorie intake as much I may be able to drop the weight. So I've been following this for about a week and I've also been training high frequency for about a week. To be honest I wasn't into the high frequency in the beginning but I am going to give it a go, keep it up for about a month or so, see how I enjoy it. I may switch back to what I've been previously doing. So right now we're just giving it a go, seeing how all these changes affect me. I have dropped two pounds in the past week but saying that I probably gained about two pounds over Christmas. So that is probably just water weight. So we'll see how this week goes because usually your first week is just water weight loss. So now I'm gonna go and have my collagen coffee, walk the dogs and then hit the gym. So every morning I have about 12 grams of this collagen in my coffee. I just get it off Amazon guys. And As you get older, and you're in your 30s like I am, you start to lose collagen. So if you take in a supplement of collagen, it's helping to replenish those supplies that are being lost through the damn aging process. So collagen keeps your skin plump, helps with the appearance of wrinkles, and generally is good for you, hair, nails, everything. So I just use 10, 12 grams every day. You cannot taste it at all in your coffee. And normally I have a decaf coffee first thing in the morning and I get asked a lot about why I have decaf coffee first thing in the morning. It's cause I drink too much coffee guys and it's just me trying to limit my intake. And I like the taste of coffee first thing. But today, this is like my pre-workout so I'm gonna have fully caffeinated coffee and because I'm on a higher fat diet, I've been having some cream in my coffee and oh my God, it's so good. If you haven't had cream in your coffee before, try it. 10 grams is about 4.6 grams of fat and that is usually enough for me to have um, in my coffee. And let's see if there's enough water. I'm just using my Nespresso machine. I have two coffee machines. We have a little brew station going on here. So tea and coffee station in the kitchen. I will do a full house tour. I didn't want to do it while the house was decorated in Christmas decorations. I wanted to get it back to its normal state and um, I will just like have a good old clean and then do it because I am a perfectionist. I do want the house to look a certain way when I do my house tour. I know it's driving me crazy because you want to see where we live. Here's a little sneak peek of the kitchen. I love my kitchen, it's really big. I love the space and it's kind of very homely because there's a sofa in it and a TV so we kind of socialise in here when people come around. Coffee is done now to walk the pooches. They love their walks, clearly. I got my hair cut in a different hairdresser. I'm not really feeling it, guys. Um, I do get accused of having a wig on a lot of the times because the fringe. Well, it's not a wig, it's just my fringe. I don't know what to do with my hair. It's driving me kind of mad because I'm just not loving it right now. So, suggestions on what I can do to improve it. I got some layers cut in and it just doesn't sit the way I like it and it's a lot shorter than it was because I want it down to my waist and it's up here. So any hairdressers out there who'd like to take a go at my hair and make it look the way I want it to, I'm just not feeling it right now. I don't want to look like I have a wig and I want to be able to have manageable, nice hair I do like the thick fringe, but not if I'm being accused of being a transvestite. Because I'm not a transvestite, I swear. <laughs> so we are in from the walk. 
Do you have a nice walk, Rox? And you may see a teddy bear just sitting there. She's so cute. So now I'm gonna head to the gym because I've got about an hour to train before I'm booked in for a pedicure. Because I decided to give myself a pedicure. And let's just say they're like a Picasso. So from far away, they look lovely. Looks like a French manicure toes. Close up, not so much. And you're probably thinking, why does Lainey care about what her toes look like close up? Well, I'm doing Pilates and yoga now, so my toes are in my face a lot. And I don't like looking at ugly toes. I want to look at pretty toes. So, I'm going to go get those little hooves fixed. Then come back and I'm going to have a massive breakfast because I'm going fasted right now. Because I just don't have time really. Normally I would eat something, but I just don't have time to eat because I need to get to the gym. So, gym time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Are you listening? to these two beautiful creatures. Are you gorgeous, Bailey? Yeah? Oh, hello, hello, YouTube. Roxy, you're gorgeous too. You are, look at those paws, look at those paws. So I'm in from the gym and from getting my pedicure and now my toes now resemble something of a human and not a weird Picasso painting. Now, on to breakfast. Now, usually my choices for breakfast range from eggs with bacon to porridge with something sweet on top. Today, I was veering more towards the sweet. I think I have a bit of a sweet tooth today. So, to quell my sweet tooth, this is what I have. So this is my protein porridge with peanut butter and dark chocolate chips on top. So we have 30 grams of the Flavins Irish Quick Oats because I only have Irish oats because they are the best. If you're in the UK, you can usually get them in Sainsbury's. Um, otherwise, you have to go home to Ireland and get them. And then we have some happy egg whites. Yes, they're happy because they are free range and that's very important to me. And we have 50 grams of that, I know it sounds gross, but 50 grams in your oats and you microwave it on 30 second intervals so it doesn't go scrambled eggs, it goes more cakey. So you see the volume it creates and you're getting extra protein in. And then I've topped it with some vanilla grenade Hydra 6 and I really like this because it is a blend of whey and casein. So not dairy free, but 
the casein is a slow release protein which is good and it's great for cooking and baking with and look at that lovely consistency so you can see it's all melted in oh pro oats porn yum so that is a really simple way of getting some slow release carbs in some protein in and some fats so i'm hitting all my macros if you are in work when you have breakfast, if they have a microwave, make use of it and you can make your own protein oats in the microwave in work. I just make mine up on water and put a pinch of salt in because I just like the way it tastes. How do you eat your porridge? Are you a milky person with sugar or are you like me with water and salt? So breakfast complete and now I'm going to get some cardio in because I did some walking around town and I walked the dogs and I'll walk the dogs again later but I need to get those steps in. So I'm gonna do 200 calories on my stepper. I measure my calories on my watch on an app. I've got an Apple watch and it has loads of different applications whereby you can um, track your steps and track your calories. So that is what I'm using. There are other options out there like Fitbits and things like that, but the best way to track your cardio which is as important as tracking your food because you don't want to be overdoing it with your cardio but i find the best way to track your cardio is to track your calories because sometimes you put more intensity into your cardio and other times it'd be less intensive and it'll take longer for you to burn those calories so if you are tracking properly track your calories burned as opposed to the time you spend on the treadmill or on the cross trainer or whatever you're doing. I am being quite lazy and just doing it here at home because I just feel a little bit more comfortable doing it at home than doing it at the gym. And um, I have my TV here and yeah, just pure laziness really. But I'm just gonna do this cardio now. I'm gonna do 200 calories and I'm probably gonna do two more 200 calories or three more this week, depending on how my progress is going. Cardio complete, I worked up, bit of a sweat, it took me about 35 minutes, which just shows the contrast between the 200 calories, because the other day it took me 30 minutes and previous times it's taken me 40 minutes, so it does depend on your intensity. Ooh, look at that shoulder, oh yeah. I love when I get like visible gains in my shoulders and arms. I know as a woman we're not meant to like want to be buff on top, but I love it. I love a bit of muscle and look how pale I am. I need some sun. Bring on Portugal in eight weeks. Taxi, did you have a nice walk? Yeah? Good girl. So in from walking the pooches, have my coffee and these are delicious. Lex hates the smell of them, but I love them. They are roasted peas. I know it sounds weird and it looks like a really small portion, but it's like actually really substantial and they're just really good macros. It's four grams fat, 14 grams carbs, uh, seven grams protein, and they're really tasty. They're just like packed full of flavor. I like the Pika chili ones and I like the salt and vinegar ones. They're my favorites. The other ones are good too, but they're the best ones in my opinion. But yeah, they do give you stinky breath, so have a gum or a mint afterwards. So I haven't eaten a ton of food all day, but I am gonna hit my macros now because I get kind of hungrier in the evening and that's okay if you are someone who gets hungrier at night and you just wanna save your macros till later or kind of bulk eat your food in one huge meal. I had planned on having a big breakfast, but I ended up not just having a huge appetite. Sometimes after I train, my appetite just becomes a little bit suppressed, but I'm preparing dinner now and I'm just gonna show you what I'm having. So we have a diced up chicken breast from Muscle food now the muscle food chicken breasts for me are the best because they are not pumped full of water like a lot of the supermarket ones like when you cook them down they stay the same size so I've just diced up the chicken breast and um, added some salt some pepper and some of this paprika I just love smoked paprika so it's gonna be kind of a smoky flavor this meal so we've got chicken we've got garlic and onion and that's for flavor we've got some asparagus asparagus is great especially when you're retaining water around this time of year after Christmas a lot of us are probably bloated and if you get your asparagus in you will find you pee a bit more and you're getting rid of that water retention as I'm on a higher fat diet I'm having some of this chorizo and that 
that will add in so much flavor to the chicken. So I'm gonna just cook all that off, add in half a tin, it's already opened, of some chopped tomatoes with chili and peppers. I will probably top it with a little bit of Parmesan and then serve it with some rice. So just keeping it nice, clean, simple, tasty. So dinner is ready and I opted instead of having rice, I'm having some of this orzo pasta. Now, to be honest, I thought it was based on the dry weight and I added in 60 grams, but it's actually the cooked weight, so I had to look up the dry weight and I'm after having about 40 grams of carbs, but it's fine, it fits my macros, I just have less carbs to play around with after dinner. But this is what it looks like, we've got the orzo pasta and it kind of, I've kind of used it like a risotto. So I put it in with the um, tomatoes and all the chicken and everything that have been cooked down, added in um, a cup full of water as well and just let the pasta cook in with the chicken. Now this is like a one pot stop dinner and it smells delicious and I'm sure it's going to taste really good. And it was just really handy because it was stuff that I just had in the fridge handy to make. So you can add or subtract things as you feel fit and you don't have to like prep every meal and have it all planned out. Sometimes delicious meals just come together. So I'm going to eat this and I'm watching really old Gossip Girl. And then I'm probably going to have an early night tonight because Alex is away and I normally stay up quite late with him. And I'm going to take advantage of the fact that he's not here. Have a little bit of a, an extra bit of a sleep as I take over the entire bed. So to finish off my macros today, I am going to have chocolate protein mug cake. It is delicious. It is up on my recipe channel that is linked down below. So go check it out. I'm gonna start uploading more frequently my recipes up there. So if you wanna see any of them, they're available up there. And I'm gonna to top it with one of these Kvarg yogurts from um, you can get them in most supermarkets, as the Sainsbury's, any of them. And Lex and I love them. I love the vanilla one, and he likes the raspberry one. So I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna go and do some fake tan tonight because I'm so pale. I'm gonna finish off with a physique update, which I will record in the morning because it's all dark and dreary right now and I want some natural light to show you what I actually look like to see all the lumps and bumps, as well as the progress I'm making. So enjoy the physique update. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and also check out my recipe channel because there will be more delicious recipes coming very soon. Damn that smash If I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them out to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. 